Hey, welcome to the prayer closet with Summer White. And today I have two thrift hauls. So I have a large thrift haul from the Paul Huff store and I have a smaller thrift haul from the Grove Avenue store. And this is Cleveland, Tennessee. So if you're interested in, in where I'm finding these. Um, but first I'm gonna get straight into scripture. So what I'm gonna, I'm reading out of the Kenneth E. Hagan, is it upside down? Yes, it is. Kenneth E. Hagan Health Foods Devo Devotion book today. And I am not affiliated. I'm not affiliated with the Goodwill anymore. I used to work there a while back, but I'm not affiliated anymore. I'm not affiliated with um, selling this book or anything. Um, I just like it. It's what I do. It's literally how I live my daily life. So um, I shop at the Goodwill once a week, once every two weeks maybe. Sometimes it's once a week, once every two weeks, it varies. Um, and then I just, I read out of this book like all the time. So these are just things that I do in my own personal life, but I'm not affiliated at this point in time, maybe one day. So anyways, we'll get straight into scripture. And what I'm going to read about today is our thoughts. So God's thoughts and our thoughts. And we're going to hear, um, what God says about his thoughts. So we're going to start out with the scripture. Um, the scripture is Isaiah 55, eight and nine. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God's way of thinking. You can read what the Bible says, and from the natural standpoint, it doesn't sound reasonable sometimes. But these verses in Isaiah have helped me greatly. Isaiah is con contrasting our thoughts, man's thoughts, with God's thoughts. He says that God's thoughts or God's ways of thinking is higher than man's way of thinking. The Bible contains God's thoughts. If you want to know if you want to know God's thinking on any subject, see what the Bible says on that subject. Now, if your mind has not been renewed with the word of God, it's difficult for you to think in line with God's way of thinking. You get your mind renewed with the word of God by meditating on it. And that's where that scripture faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God comes along because you have to hear the word of God repeatedly over and over and over and over again to build your faith. That's how you build your faith is putting that word in. And even if your mind has been renewed, you still may not understand with your natural mind everything the Bible says. But if you'll act on the word from your spirit or your heart, it will work for you. Keeping these verses in Isaiah in mind, let's read Mark 11:23 again. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. To the natural mind, this verse doesn't sound reasonable. It, it's a different kind of thinking. It's God's way of thinking. Good Christians who are dedicated and consecrated to God have said to me, I'm not going to believe I have something I can't see. If I say I have something and I don't have it in reality, I'm lying. They miss the whole thing. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. So the confession for this is God's thoughts and ways are higher than my thoughts and ways. I renew my mind with the word of God so that I can think God's thoughts and know his ways. And so just touching on, on that a little bit, um, most of the time you hear this a lot with healing as well. I'm not going to confess, you know, that I'm healed if I, if I don't have it. But what the Bible says is by Jesus stripes, you were healed. By Jesus stripes, you were healed is past tense. It's, it means it's already happened. Jesus did everything when he died on the cross. So he died on the cross over 2,000 years ago. So whatever he did, he has already done. It's already been provided, and we accept, just like we accept him as our Savior, we accept that healing that he's provided the same way. He's already provided it. So we're not praying and, and expecting him to do something that he's not already done. He's already given it to us. We simply have to receive it. We have to believe we have it, believe what he did when he died on the cross, receive it, and thank him for it. That's all we have to do. And the rest, once you do that part and you, you believe that in your heart that you have it, the rest comes. It, you might not see it right away, but it will come. It will manifest in the natural after you first believe and receive. 
what Jesus has already done. So, and that's, that's basically what it's talking about here. So, you're not saying in the natural that you don't have a symptom. You're simply saying God's word is bigger and God's word said Jesus already took this from me. So, that's what it is I have. I have healing because the word says I have healing. And that's bigger than that symptom that's going on. So, that is... Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. I've, I've went over it several times in the last few videos and um, just wanted to give you something else to think about and, and just, you know, a different way of thinking. So um, if you are interested in this book, Kenneth E. Hagen, Health Food Devotions, you can get that from Rama Bible College, um, Oklahoma, Tennessee, or off of like eBay or Amazon or wherever you could probably find it a lot of places now if you're interested and we're gonna get straight into the thrift haul it is kind of late at night so i think it's like if i can see the clock from here i think it's like 11 o'clock so i'm kind of getting tired actually honestly that's probably why i sound i feel like i sound kind of i don't know lower tone but i am a little tired um but i thought i'd go ahead and do the thrift haul because sometimes at night when everyone's asleep and the animals are asleep. I have a big cat too. I haven't showed him on a video, but I have a big Tom cat. He's huge. He's like, he's like bigger than a Jack Russell or at least the same size as a large Jack Russell. <laughs> he's pretty big. But anyways, my animals are sleeping. My husband's asleep. Um, my daughter is in her room watching TV or listening to music or something. So this is usually the time where it's like the quietest it seems like and the phone's not ringing. So I can just kind of do the video and it, it just seems easier for me. And um, they say natural light's the best, but honestly, I feel like the lighting is better right now. I'm sitting right underneath the kitchen light, but the last time I did a video, there was like this big glare coming through the window from the natural light. So I feel like the lighting is really good right now. So I, when I go back and watch the video, I guess I'll, I'll know which one looked better, but on the phone right now, it looks better this way. And I do have my camera that I need to start using. So... I have mentioned before that I'm not exactly tech savvy, so it's taken me a while to get that camera out of the box and get on, on with it. I also don't have a trop tripod. So I was at Best Buy getting some things checked out on the computer. Uh, we checked out tripods, so we kind of know a price range now. We can kind of plan to get one of those as well to film with. But um, And also the little twisty thing that goes on my buggy so I can take it on thrift hauls with me, which would be great because I could show that side of the video. Um, so that will be good. But um, I just need to get out of the box and look at it because I'm kind of like, I don't want to say a chicken, but I'm kind of kind of a chicken when it comes to electronics. It's not something I like look forward to figuring out, but once I get it, I'm good. So I will get it. But anyways, we'll get straight on into this thrift haul. And so the first part I'm going to show is from the Little Goodwill, the Grove Avenue store. And I found, let me just move this over. I found, the first thing I found uh, was this mud, little, the brand is mud, but it's this little jean jacket, and it's just kind of like a light color, and I do have a couple of jean jackets, but I mainly picked this one up because it did have that light color. I've always liked the light jean better, um, and so, but two, I kind of like to have a dark one and a light one just to, you know, depend on what I'm wanting to wear. It's nice to have one of each color, so... And it's got a little bit of distressed, like distressing on it in different places, which I kind of think that's cool. It is a Junior's brand, so, um, but I just thought it was neat. And I know it's Junior's because it says large and it doesn't, it doesn't look large, does it? It kind of looks a little small, but it's going to, it's going to work. And then I just got this plain black turtleneck. It's Jones, New York, size medium. I just thought that would be good to wear under something. Nothing special about it, just a plain black turtleneck. And then I got a, it's called Velvet Heart, size medium. And it's this denim, just like a little summery, it's for summertime, denim tie front blouse. And it has buttons running down the back of it. So I thought that was really cute. And that'll be good for the summertime. And this one, okay, this one I have looked at for a month. I love, 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 love this color, love this top. I have looked at it and looked at it. Um, it's got the little t ruffle and then the draw or the tie string, and it's got the ruffle on the sleeve. And it's, um, it's an open cold shoulder sleeve. And it's just really pretty orange. 
I held off for a month because it has two pin marks on the front of it and I probably won't be able to get them out, but I'm just gonna tuck it. So I figure if I tuck that part in, it might hide it. Um, so I walked by it over and over again, and finally I was like, I just asked them, I said, well, you can be half off on this if I take it out of, out of your way, because it's been here for a month with pin marks on it, so I paid $2 for it. But I absolutely love the ruffles and this orange color, so I'm gonna make it work. And normally I won't buy stained items, like I try really hard not to buy them, but that one, I just couldn't get over the color. I just love that color, so I'm gonna work, work with that one anyways. This is Zach and Rachel, and it says Petite Medium. And I just thought this was a cute um, spring top. It's got stripes, which I like stripes, but then it kind of just does an ombre. It just kind of fades out at the bottom into white, and I just thought that was kind of neat looking, and it, the colors just reminded me of spring, so cute top and then this was I think this is the last one I got at the little store and it is velvet heart as well size medium and it has the tie at the neck and it's got this cherry pattern on it which I thought was cute so also I don't know cherries I feel like that's kind of like a spring top you know since it's a fruit that could be spring as well and then getting on into the Paul Huff thrift haul I picked up this, let's see, I don't know how to pronounce it, S-E-R-E, -E, Nade, or maybe it's just all, they've got it separated, I think it's Serenade, but they've separated it, so it, it looks like two words, but really I think they're supposed to go together, I think it's supposed to be Serenade, but it had this really pretty floral Look at all the bright colors. I just thought this is so pretty for spring and summer as well. And it's that sheer material, so I can actually get away with wearing it in the summer. Um, depending on where I'm going, like if I'm gonna be inside or something, I can wear this. So I just thought those colors were so pretty, all the pops of colors, and it has this little um, bell sleeve on it. I just thought it was really pretty. So there's that one. This one, I was undecided on. So ultimately, the color one. I'm not crazy about this print, but I absolutely love this pink color. Um, it almost, it's like, it's like the color of a pink starburst <laughs> candy. That's what it reminds me of. And I don't know, I just really like that pink color. So I walked by it and walked by it and finally I was like, okay, I'm, I'm getting it, the color one. So um, that was how I decided on that one. But sometimes the prints throw me off. Sometimes some of the prints, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like that or not. And I'll look at it and look at it. And I finally decided. This one is Coldwater Creek, size medium. And I think this one's cool. So it is a sheer top as well. Really pretty for spring. Um, that nice lime green and white. And it's real, real long. And it's got the splits on the, or the, I call them splits. They're slits slits on the side and so I'm gonna wear it over jeans with like maybe like a little white tank top underneath it with a pair of jeans and I think that's gonna be really cute or even capris that'll be really cute for spring so it's just got a little bit of a pleat pattern in the back I just think it's really cute so that was the reason for that one and then this one is Ann Taylor Loft also medium petite it is a kind of like a I was gonna say orange, but it's more of a pea, or a coral. It's a coral and white. And it's just a little summery top. And it's got, I think a little, yeah, a little tie there in front. Let's see if I can get up here so you can kind of see the colors there. Just a little polka dot, um, coral and white summery top. And then I got this belt. So this says made in Hong Kong. It doesn't actually say real leather, but it feels, I mean, it looks, like real leather. It looks like leather, feels like leather, and it's just this nice, distressed, and I do like, when I find belts that are leather and distressed, I really like those. It's okay if it's been worn. It kind of looks good that way. And so I picked this one up. I just thought it was neat because it had, so it's got the worn look there, and it's got the pieces where it's put together differently. So here, then you've got like this kind of like a ribbed design. And then on the other side, it goes back to this piece again, and then the smooth 
part. So I just really like that. I thought that was cute. Just a nice leather belt, distressed leather belt. And then this sweater here I got. It's Ruby Road, size medium, and it's still cold outside. And so I grabbed up some more sweaters as well. So this is kind of just like a marled, um, just a red and white marled pattern or design. And it's got that big old turtle, or I guess it's kind of a turtleneck. It's got a big old neck on it here, and it's got big buttons for details. And I just thought the colors were pretty. I like the red and white, and it's just so chunky and warm. So I'm excited about that one. And then this sweater says Country Craft. And I think this one might be vintage. Um, the size says 42, which I think is like a European size. Um, but I, actually, I really like the yellow and black. It's also a marled design when you see the colors m mesh together like that. And then it had this like puff, I guess you call it a puffer sleeve. But those are the big old sleeves like this um, have been in style this year as well. And so that caught my attention. But then just the colors. I like the bright colors and the fact that it was also a textured, chunky sweater and it's still cold outside. So that's what I was thinking with that one. And then I have two things left. This one I got for my daughter and my youngest daughter. So usually when I'm saying I get it for my daughter, it's my youngest daughter. My oldest daughter has moved out and she um, she has her, her sweet baby. She's so sweet and her husband. And I don't really shop for her as much anymore. Mainly, I always think about her when I'm shopping for the other one, but Mainly, I just don't know if she'll like it. So I'm always kind of like, eh, I don't know. and I don't want to get her something that she's not going to use. Um, so the youngest one that lives with me, I, I kind of have a basic idea of what it is she's wanting. And it's usually just pullover tops or sweaters or anything that's comfy. And so I found this um, Juicy Contour um, just hoodie. It's like a hoodie. It's a velour feeling it's blue and there's nothing really special about it except for the fact that it's just really warm and cozy it's kind of an oversized um just velour hoodie and so i thought she would like that and she did i showed it to her and she, that was one that she liked so that worked out well and then the last item i've got this one is really really cool okay some of you may hate it but some of you may love it i thought it was just really really cool and it is this beaded bag so i've never seen one of these like this before this th this took some work doing this and so i don't know if you can if the camera is doing it justice but it is this really pretty orange color which i've already been talking about over here it's the same color as that shirt that i held up while ago in the background and then it's got like a brown beaded like a bead beaded design all over it and then the little Cla the little thing that closes here is a flower. It's a yellow flower, so the beads just go on over that flower like this. And then the inside was basically immaculate. So look at that. I mean, it's it's clean. It's pretty. It looks like it's not even been used. So I was really excited about this find. I just thought it was so pretty and um, just beautiful for the summertime. I feel like it's more, to me, it's beaded. So be, to me, beaded is more summertime or spring than it is winter. So I will probably carry it in the summertime. But I just saved that one for last because I thought it was unique and I haven't really seen anyone else show one. So I don't know, but really cute. And did it have a brand? There is no brand. So maybe somebody made it. If they did, they put some work into this thing and I'm going to, I'm gonna use it for them. I'm gonna get the use out of it. So that is it for my thrift haul. And um, I hope you enjoyed everything. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do the next video on. Um, when I get too many thrift hauls going at one time, I can't get my laundry caught up. So I have realized that my laundry basket stays full because of my thrift hauls. So I'm like, why can't I get the laundry caught up? And I'm, so, cause I'm continuously dumping bags of clothing in it. So, um, I need to catch my laundry up again before I can go thrift hauling again, which is a good balance, I guess. That gives me some time to kind of balance it out. But um, so I have to think what I want to do the next video on. 
um, cause I am not sure. But this one is gonna be out on Monday. So the next one I make should come out on the, the following Wednesday. So I'm gonna have to think of something before then. We will see. It may just be me sitting around here reading, but it's gonna be something. <laughs> so anyways, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. And um, just remember to, to, just remember what we read and just, I just want to encourage you to just be thinking on, when you're thinking about symptoms or when you're thinking about things, think, try to think about how God would think about it. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. So if we have the mind of Christ, we are technically supposed to be able to think like Christ would think. There's even a scripture in the Bible that says that the things that Christ did, the things that Jesus did, even great these things we will do and even greater than these things if you really understand if you really hear what that verse is saying it's saying that we will do even greater things than jesus did while we're here on the earth so he's given us when he died on the cross he gave us power to do that we have the power it's just that we don't a lot of times know that we have that kind of power that we're carrying you know the god kind of power like that so um, so just keep that in mind and, and when you're reading, take it literally for what it means. And, um, I just encourage you to, to get out of the natural and, and think on God's word. God's word is supernatural. It's not natural. So we have to think a little bit differently about it. And I'm going to leave you with that. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like the video. And I will see you on the next one, whatever that may be. But it's going to be on Wednesday, but whatever it is, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. We will see. I'll see you then. God bless you.